Hello ladies and gentle friends, my name is Danny and today we're finally starting that let's play of Wizardry 5, Hearts of the Maelstrom, the PlayStation version. Without further ado, let's get to it. Um, I will be using a rough guide on this particular um, let's play because there's so many, so many key items that you need to go collect in Wizardry 5, it's not even funny. Uh, this is definitely the most complicate, complicated uh, wizardry game we've played to date. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Now, um, loading. So I've already created my characters. Uh, if you want to go see that, um, go check out episode 0, because that's the character creation episode. Um, I put that on a different episode just to want to watch me re-roll my characters over and over um, <laughs> you can skip that so that's good um, so anyway let's go inspect our characters alright so um, the, f the front line are all samurai dwarfs because of course they are <laughs> um, Dean is uh, pretty strong Carl's pretty strong Mikey is the new guy here He's not as strong, but he's still pretty strong. He has something called a pike, which is actually pretty interesting. I believe that can actually go through two lines. I can't remember. Um, Eddie is a thief. He has a uh, light crossbow now, which means he will actually probably be a bit more useful in this game than he was in previous games, which is good. Uh, Meb has managed to survive this entire time. Um, and due to some magic catastrophe uh, back in his tower, um, he is now suffering from immediately and he's forgotten most of his spells, so he's now entering the heart of the Maelstrom to uh, regain his lost knowledge, I guess. And uh, new character Kirsty here will um, be taking over from Lana, uh, she'll be our priest. Uh, we do also have a bishop called Banksy who will be holding on to all of our money and identifying items. Oh, I accidentally clicked something I shouldn't have there. My bad. Um, oh, actually, there's one more thing we need to do. Where are you? Alright, so, um, Kitanu's a sleep spell. Um, Heltio is a um, small fireball spell, I believe. And Kirsty has um, Dios and Bados. Dios is heal, Bados is harm. Uh, we've got two castings of each. Alright, so let's get down to that maze. Right, so, um... So, to be the bearer of bad news, but this is going to be me mostly, uh leveling up this episode, so uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy that. A sign of the wall reads, ye, enter ye who seek the heart to one day rule the maelstrom. Okay, so um, yeah, it's a dead end. Uh, we actually do have some more commands now, we can actually search for hidden doors and hidden items. Um, so that's a thing that we actually do need to um, pay attention to. Um, so we got, uh, like we technically go like, hey, secret doors, inspect, searching, nothing. Alright, so that's how that works. Again, this is a much more complicated game than any of the wizardries we've played up to this point. So, uh, we will need to be on our guards. Alright, so there's the door. We're going to explore this corridor first. Oh, this corridor is going places, isn't it? Interestingly, we've not been accosted by any monsters yet. So I think at least several monsters to jump out at me by now. Right, let's go in this door and see what... Ouch. Okay, we have to open the door, Danny. That's how we do. Alright, so there's a door. Let's see, this music's nice. Alright, this room has to have monsters in it. 
This particular dungeon's pretty chill so far. This worries me. Um. Hey, there you go. Right. So what? You surprised the monsters. Skeletons. Oh man, this music. Right. Okay. So I'm guessing we can't put the skeletons to sleep. So. There's a lot of skeletons here. Alright, so these guys now know we're here. Uh, Thanks to Kirsty's uh, dispelling, we've actually managed to get rid of a bunch of skeletons here. So what we'll do... Uh, okay, let's see parry for now. You can dispel more monsters. Nice, we did it. Uh, Eddie, inspect this chest. Trapless chest. Okay, Eddie. I'll trust you on this one. Mikey found a sword. Each survivor gets uh, three, five gold pieces. Okay, so. A bunch of our front line got the crap beaten out of them there, so, um... Uh, I believe it's Kirsty. Hey, okay, so, um... Our front line is no longer injured. <laughs> uh, okay, we should probably get out of this room or to explore it, but ooh, here we go. Three slimes, okay. Okay, so the skeletons were actually way tougher. Which doesn't surprise me. Okay, we need to go back up to town and rest because uh, we've used up pretty much all of our healing. <laughs> Wizardry! <laughs> um. Okay, so adventures in. Alright, so, um, would you put each member? Who has that sword? Oh, those cheeky buggers, they knew. They knew. Okay, so, uh, Mikey has the sword. Okay, sorry, Kirsty, you're gonna have to be removed for a second while we add Banksy in. Item identify. This is gonna take a while. <laughs> Long swords! Excellent! Why does it have a hash next to it? Uh, 
let's go to Bullock's trading post. Oh, it's cursed. It has to be, because, like, you wouldn't be offering me zero for it. That is not a cursed act. Why are you offering me zero for it? It's the longsword shit or something. Alright, uh, let's, uh, okay, let's. Oh, it's a basic bitch weapon. Okay, that's why he's offering me zero for it. Item drop. Let's just loot over streets and uh, drop this longsword. <laughs> Trash! <laughs> just dumps it on the floor. Alright, uh. Well, wasn't that exciting? We used up all of our healing spells <laughs> and then had to come back into town. So, uh, yeah, welcome to uh, Grinding Out on Wizardry uh, with your boy. Oh, hello, encounter. What do we have here? Two slams. Okay, we can just fight this. Alright, so we've got two doors here. We'll go on this door first. I don't want to go too far away from the um, dungeon entrance though. This is just one big room. It is. They definitely toned down the difficulty, at least at the start. Like, holy crap. Like, if this was Wizardry 2, I'd be like getting encounters like every two seconds. Oh my god, Eddie's actually useful now. I can actually have a thief in my party without feeling like he's weighing the entire party down. <laughs> Alright. So far so good. No, no, nobody's gotten injured yet. Black flies! Okay, I don't know what you guys do. Put these guys to sleep. Oh, these guys don't seem too dangerous. Ah, okay, 66 gold pe um, EP and uh, 6 gold pieces. 6 gold pieces doesn't sound like a lot, but... You stand in the particular centre of a great chamber engraved upon the floor of these particular marks. Ha! Huh. I might need to print screen that. <laughs> I 
Okay. Great chamber, you say? Encounter. That is darkness. I am not going in there. <laughs> nope. You sound like great. Okay, so I did print screen that, so. Once I get back into town, men of cloth. Uh, we need to kill these guys quickly. Oh, Meb's dead. These guys killed him. Oof. Okay, well, Meb is dead, so we now need to get back and heal him. Shouldn't be too expensive. Woof, that is quite the, uh, quite the, hey, Meb is alive again, so we can actually add him, we add him back to the party. <laughs> he has four, zero, he has one hit, so, hang on. Wait, I did not recover his hits. Oh, I know now. Yep. Okay, I've forgotten. We're we're in wizardry now, Dan. Um, which means now that uh, we, since we used the 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 poor man's. Uh, Spell. We're in the pool, man. Uh, what for? Oh, right, okay. Well, Meb has four hit points, so that's not great. Um, let's inspect. Let's inspect all the characters. Yes, high vitality too. That's that sucks. That's terrible. I really need him to level. <laughs> he got fucked. Oh, and his age went right up as well. Cause he died once. Woof. Um. Okay, or well, uh. Get to the maze. Oh, I meant to rest up first. Shit, shite. I I did a goof. I'm sorry. Ah. <laughs> okay. Uh. Curse is going to be staying in the stables of lunch, I think. Alright, so, um... Spell, cast... Eight. 
Again, apologies to um, this is taking so long, but uh, each member. Cool, right, she's now stayed in there. You must now go back down to the maze. <laughs> Four hit points, like. <laughs> God damn. Alright, so. That was quite scary. The thing that scares me the most actually is the fact that Kirsty has um like four hit points. That does not fill me with a lot of confidence. Actually there was one part of that room we didn't actually check, so Looks like a big old smiley face, so I'm gonna ruin that now by doing this. Yeah, we've already taken those into account. Let's explore this dungeon. Because that's what I like doing. Alright. Counter it is very low, holy crap. Okay, so the encounter. Who did we just bust down the door into? Three men in robes. Right, uh we are putting all of these guys to sleep. Fortunately, that guy didn't manage to kill anyone in our party. That's a lot of EXP. Ugh. Nice, and a bunch of gold. We literally just bursting into people's stuff here. Actually, can we... Can we search for hidden items here? This is such a cool new mechanic. Oh. Nothing. Alright. Uh. You're actually getting quite far away from the exit though. And we don't have a reliable teleport spell, so. Five undead warriors. Actually, we'll dispel a couple of these guys. because it's actually getting quite tight on the older. Hey, that is a ton of EXP. Oh, but all of our guys are almost dead. Uh... Well, now our front line is mostly dead. We need to head back into town. Okay. 
You just have to power through it and kill them. Alright. Ooh. All members, stables. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Oh, Eddie's now no longer going to die in one hit, so that's good. Creaky door. Alright, Kirsty. Alright, going back up the stairs again. Kirsty needs another tri trip to the stables. <laughs> God, she's gonna be the smelling of horse this entire playthrough, I think. Um, oh, okay, so. Let's, uh, let's cast some spells. Hey, there you go. Alright, so that is, I believe, it for this episode. Thank you very much for joining me guys, I'll catch you guys soon, and we'll do some more exploring of level 1. I'll see you guys then, goodbye.